The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to our man Dave in Clearwater. Hey, Dave, Happy New Year. What's happening, man? Happy New Year, too, my brother. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? I am doing well, man. I'm doing well. Can I throw a quote out at you? Sure. In the market, somebody knows something. Someone always knows something. That statement was made by a great trader by the name of Tom O'Brien about six, seven years ago. Oh, yeah. And it kind of hit me like a brick. You're right. Somebody always knows something. Hey, Carlos, what's going on, brother? I'm calling you back, Tom. This morning, I had a pleasure to talk to you and your son, and I don't want to miss the opportunity to talk to you again. Why? Well, I think you made some money on this bond. <laughs> oh, yes, Tom. Your newsletter helped me. That's a beautiful to, uh... thing. We appreciate the growling problem us out here. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 168. NASDAQ up 84, S&P, NASDAQ up 84, S&P is up 25 points. Point percentage-wise, this is what you have out here, folks. The Dow is up 6 tenths of 1 percent. S&Ps are up 1 percent. NASDAQ is up 1.2 percent. You get option expiration. Bottom line is that you get uh, big markets here. Gold contract. Gold contract up $2, trading at $12.59 an ounce. Silver up 17 cents, $16.10 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 26 cents, $57.33 a barrel. Notes, 10 year note down three ticks, 124.14. 30 year bond up nine, 154.12. King dollar, King dollar up 409 ticks, 93.460. The euro is trading at 117.5 to the US dollar. The yen is out here at 112.5 to the US dollar. You have the but Bitcoin trading up $1,193, 17697 Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You get the SPY up $2.60. You're at $266.92. You're shooting for the high of $267.56. Uh, we're going to have volume. Uh, bottom line is that uh, you, you're coming into the, the last high, which is on the Wednesday. We had uh, 102 million. You're at 92 million right now. This is going to come in with volume at the end of the day because uh, we're dealing with uh, option expiration, and it's going to be big volume coming in at the end of the day. Dow Industrials. Dow Industrials traded to a high today of 26,684. It's laying right at those highs right now. Uh, this would be an all-time closing high. Uh, thus far, the all-time closing high uh, had been on Tuesday, which was the 20, uh, 24,585. And right now, you're 100 points over that. NASDAQ composite. What do we have with the composite? Composite right now. Well, one second. Composite right now is trading... At 69.42, that's breaking top side. The high, last high out here was 69.14. That is a break top side. NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100. Also breaking top side. And this, this has some price spread. So it was taking uh, five, the last five days was trying to get into that number. Bottom line is it's got that number pretty good right now, which is the 64.26. If we go inside the Dow Industrials, we take a look at uh, what's putting the juice inside the Dow Industrials out here? There's only two stocks that are actually in the negative. Uh, you have uh, Travelers putting 18 positive points in uh, United Technology, uh, 17, Goldman 17, Microsoft 14. The only two stocks that are taking anything out of the Dow is IBM is putting ne eight negative points, and Dow, the Dow, uh, which is the Dow with DuPont, is putting. Uh, one negative point into it. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness out here. Strength out here, 
Uh, Percentage-wise, you get Discovery Communications up 5.3%. Biomyelin is up 4%. Costco is up 3 Taken away from it, you get CSX down 7%. A Sirius Satellite is off 5%. Starbucks is off 2% and Chart is off 2%. Point-wise, what we have, uh, it's all about Google. Google's up 14 bucks. You got um, Intuitive Surgical up 9 if we do go over and we take a look at Google, what you're going to see, you, Google is also breaking top side. Uh, Google came into its last high. Last high is a, a thousand, thousand sixty-one. Uh, we're at a thousand sixty-three fifty-two right now. Some of the higher volume stocks in this market, and this market will have volume out here today. You have Bank of America up thirty-eight cents. Oracle's getting toasted. That's down two twenty. You get Microsoft up two bucks. We have, uh, let's see, uh, Pfizer's up 73 cents. Gold contract, what do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract coming into a Friday. Whoops. There we go. Gold contracts trading. Sorry about that, folks. Gold contracts trading uh, up two bucks. You're at 220. 3,000 contracts traded. Uh, gold, bottom line, is going to get a little flack coming into the uh, 1266 area. 1266 is where we went from the price uh, when we came downtown on the 7th. That's when we went from 1266 to 1245. We're going to take a look at the GLD. GLD out here. We're going to put this on the weekly basis. See where this is standing. Okay, so GLD, this is a good setup. GLD, you know, went into the swing points going all the way back to this consolidation from March of 2017. From July of 2017, rejected all of them. Bottom line, GLD also has to get back, though, inside 119.78. Right now, you're trading at 119.26. We take a look at the silver contract. Silver also caught a bid out here this week. Uh, as well as today. So it's kind of intriguing uh, looking at the silver contract uh, right now. Silver, uh, silver is up 17 cents. And this is actually stronger than gold, which is um, real good because the bottom line is that uh, thus far, you know, when silver takes off, silver is highly volatile. We're at uh, 1611. Silver also, though, has to get back inside 1665. So it's, it's quite a while to go. Notes and bonds. This is just pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing that we get a we get a market up like we do, but yet notes and bonds will not give it up. The 10-year note back down today at 124.07. Backing down with dramatically lighter volume, you're talking about 835,000 contracts. You were backing into, it's 1.2 million, I believe, 1.6 million. Bottom line, notes and bonds want higher price. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with uh, good old King Dollar. Dow Industrials right now trading up 175. You get the NASDAQ up 88. S&Ps are up 26. We're coming right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks!
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls. Now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Let's go over to uh, take a look at our good old King Dollar. So King Dollar out here, folks, uh, got, uh, it's, it was just up like a 400 ticks. We've done 300, well, you have 384 ticks right now. You've done 23,000 contracts. You're coming into, let's see what we got here. Well, it's not bad. You, you, you're coming into actually uh, 16,000. Uh, we went downtown yesterday with uh, 39. But that's actually saying that the King Dollar is going to try to make another run uh, up into this 91.82 uh, area. Let me go pull this up on a continuous contract. And we put this on a weekly for a second. Yeah, on a weekly contract that's saying it's going to try to save itself again. So the top of this range uh, in King Dollar right now is 95. And right now you're at 93.920. Uh, we go and we take a look at the small caps, the IWM, IWM up here, uh, trade, uh, small caps, Russell uh, 2000 is trading up 295. Uh, that is coming right into uh, your monster downdraft out here from uh, one, well, it's two Fridays ago. That's when we went from 153, uh, we got down to 148. Uh, you know, yesterday you come down, you had some volume on the way down. Today we'll get volume on the way up. Uh, the kicker is going to be, uh, can this hold the 152.96 coming into the close? So 152.96 is the high of the 5th of December. That's the number to keep your eye on. That's on the daily. If we put this on a weekly, what you're going to have on the weekly, uh, yeah, you're coming into a lot heavier volume. So on the daily, you're going to get more of a clue whether this thing is going to hold up. Let's go take a look at the uh, XLF. That's the financials, of course. And so we, we know short-term rates are going up. Uh, financials, right today, you're up 36 cents. You're at 27.92. That's on your daily, on your weekly. Bottom line is that um, it's not too impressive, actually. You know, you, this, the range this week was from uh, 29, uh, $29, uh, 28.38 uh, down to 27.63. We go take a look at the XLE inside the energy sector. Energy sector out here today, that is da that's up 15 cents. That's still in the consolidation, and, and we are in the uh, lower end of that consolidation. Well, we're just barely in the lower end of that consolidation. That consolidation, 68.90 uh, would be the lower end, and 
the IBB, we go into the uh, biotechs, we take a look at the biotechs. Uh, biotechs out here still in the same consolidation. We're up a buck 30. The top of that consolidation is 107.49. Uh, the bottom of that consolidation is uh, 100. Um, Oracle, we take a look at Oracle. Oracle is uh, one of the only uh, stocks that are getting hit out here today. Uh, that is breaking a swing point, breaking it with volume. This has been like the third uh, get-go, uh, the second, well, no, it's the third, yeah. So June, Oracle goes topside, has the juice behind the move, 45 bucks to 51, gives it up in a big way uh, in September, goes from 53 to 48, and now what you're doing is that you're hammering down. So this is uh, setting up uh, basically about a 46 the break top side was uh, 45.21. I expect you're going to see that. SBUX, Starbucks. Starbucks right now uh, trading uh, down a buck 18. And yeah, that's, that's not that bad. That's, uh, that's basically just backing down. Uh, let's go take a look at Under Armour. I believe Under Armour is up pretty good today. Under Armour is up uh, a buck 25. $13.71, and that's going to need a lot more than that. This, this, this has got hammered on the way down. Uh, some stock that uh, just keeps getting to higher highs, Costco. Uh, Costco break, broke topside again today, $6.62. This is trading at all-time highs. Yeah, pretty amazing. Uh, let's go over to Bitcoin. So starting on Sunday night, well, Monday for sure, uh, I'm not sure whether the CME is starting on Sunday night or Monday, but I know Monday it's live. Uh, you're going to see Bitcoin trading also on the CME. Uh, right now, if you happen to be watching Tiger TV, you're going to see that the last sale on Bitcoin at the CBOE, $18,000, $18,080. You get the Erythium is trading at uh, $674 to $676. Litecoin is trading at $307 to 307. If we do take a look at intraday in Bitcoin, the high out here, see this gets interesting. So when we when we take a look at the the way that the Bloomberg is doing it, they're taking I believe four different exchanges, even in them out as to what they're trading at cash wise. Versus, you got to remember the CBOE is the future. So if I bring this back up again, let me show you something. Because if I click this, what you're going to see. Okay, XBTA, XBTA, let me see if I can get this up, because then it's going to give me, okay, so XBTA 8, that's the January future, and that's what's going to be the difference too, folks, okay? So what you're going to see is that the you're going to have a cash price, you're going to have a future price, and you're going to have a future price for January. February, March, that's what they have up right now. Uh, we'll see how, how the CME is going to be uh, basically putting those together. Google, we're going to take a look at Google. Google broke topside once again. Uh, Google right now is up 14 bucks, trading 1,063. That last high out there was 1,062. We put this on a weekly. And bottom line, it looks like it's, we're going to have highs. Amazon, we take a look at Amazon out here. Uh, this is uh, Amazon right now is trading up four bucks. We are at 11.78. You got to remember something that this is it, folks. This is the last 10 days of shopping for the whole Christmas season. It's pretty amazing that uh, we're at December 15th right now, but guess what? That's where we are. And uh, Walmart, let's go take a look at Walmart over here. Walmart is hanging at its highs. Yep, up 49 cents, uh, 97.62. Uh, Best Buy, we go take a look at Best Buy Electronics. And this is no doubt a huge electronic season, folks. Now, this is interesting. So I wonder if Best Buy come out with numbers or they're just, just up, period. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at this. Best Buy, no, it's just up, period. Um, so Best Buy right now is up $1.77. You are trading $65.53. Put this on a weekly.
Yeah, you're breaking topside. We put it on a monthly. It's pretty impressive for Best Buy almost uh, getting out of business. And then, you know, Best Buy was trading in 2012 at $10. So you get a six banger from 2012. The 2006 high was uh, $57. You're at 65. And when you do look at Best Buy numbers, which is pretty amazing, uh, is that Best Buy, the numbers themselves have gone down, the gross numbers, but yet their profits have gone up astronomically. Uh, 2013, they did 49 billion. 2017, 39 billion. 2013, they made $2.60. 2017, 3.56. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how Everbank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? Everbank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? Everbank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank as a member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Industrials are up 172. You get the NASDAQ up 88. S&Ps are up 26. Let's go over to my man, Mr. Dave White, as we do each and every Friday at 3.30. And don't forget, folks, Dave's got a great show here every trading day, 2 to 3 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a couple great newsletters. He has the Tech Insider, which is his weekly investment newsletter. He has the Path of Least Resistance, which is his daily newsletter. You can come over to our website at TFNN. Test drive either one of them or both of them. You go to TFNN, go to newsletters. If you'd like to get the investments newsletter, just hit investment newsletter. You're going to get the, the uh, tech insider. If you'd like to get the trading newsletter, just go to trading newsletter. You get the path of least resistance. Dave White, what's going on? 
Well, uh, trying to do something that doesn't start with Bitcoin. <laughs> and actually, I think the biggest news this week, longer term, probably isn't Bitcoin, but it's Apple's move to uh, throw a lot of money uh, to Finisar's way. Yeah. Uh, they, had, they had a big bounce this week. And that was a grant, right? It said it was a grant. Yeah. They're giving them $500 million to go build a plant uh, just uh, south of uh, Dallas-Fort Worth, not too far away from Austin. But this kind of singles or shows you what Apple's going to be doing in the future in that they are really working hard to make the, the old technology uh, area of Austin and south of uh, uh, Dallas-Fort Worth back into kind of what it was in the late 70s and 80s. Right, because they're taking uh, a plant that's already in place, right? Yeah, but it's not set up to do this. Right, so right, right. So what they did was buy one, but, of course, they've got 3,500 engineers, Apple does, yeah. uh, down in uh, Austin. And they bought up some of the old Texas instruments and some of the older plants uh, for those. And, that, and that's for their facial recognition, I might understand this, right? That's what they the need Finistar, that for, right? The Finistar thing is, but that's just south of Dallas-Fort Worth, the— uh, all the other stuff that Apple owns uh, and 3,500 engineers down there is going toward building their own uh, displays so they don't have to buy them from Samsung anymore. Okay. So one of the things that they put in to the uh, Samsung display that's in the current iPhone 10 is a thing that recognizes your face. And the way it does it is it's got kind of a, like a little infrared LED that bounces light off of things that are fairly close to the um, surface of the phone. Yes. And these things are called Vixels. But it's like a combination LED and LED receiver. So it kind of works like sonar, and it bounces infrared light off your face. Now, what... Uh, Apple has given them all this money to do is build very, very small Vixels. Right now, uh, each one that they make is about the size of a human hair. And Apple wants them to build 10 of them in that same space. So they'd wow. have 10 times the resolution. One of the reasons why is that it's kind of easy to defeat the, the facial recognition that's in the iPhone 10. That's already kind of been busted. You can kind of hold a picture up uh, to it already. Really? And, yeah. And, and get it That's to unlock. Yeah. It's, it's not easy, but it can be done. Now, Microsoft's had this for a couple of years in its laptops, but what they did was stick in a second camera that was infrared only, and it could actually read, you know, uh, the differences in your, in the, your face and could tell even twins apart because I, just, I, I just bought a new, uh, HP, and it has it, right. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure about the other ones. I know Microsoft had it for a couple of years. But yeah. it was extremely good. But it used a pretty expensive camera, and it used uh, a camera using uh, infrared. So it could see the blood veins literally in your face, <laughs> which were kind of like a fingerprint, right? Yeah. Now, this is just basically straight bouncing things off and coming back, and it really couldn't tell. And one of the reasons why is this, uh, these Vixels just don't have enough resolution. So the whole idea of this money being thrown at Finistar is that Apple wants technology that other people don't have. And part of that deal, although they didn't say it, I'm pretty sure is that you won't sell this stuff to other people for like five or 10 years. Yeah, that would make sense. Right. 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 So there's going to be some kind of uh, thing in there to make sure that they just don't give it to everyone else. But sure. this is going to be part of that whole engineering uh, and design to get away from being uh, uh, under the thumb of Samsung's for them getting them their displays. And it's a fairly expensive proposition uh, for Apple, but they're really not any different than Samsung when it comes to hardware because Samsung actually builds their displays, and that's 90% of what actually makes a difference in, in uh, phones, at least the hardware, right? Software sure. is a, another issue. But um, a pretty interesting uh, idea, but it does tell you that Apple is double, doubling down on building a lot of their own technology uh, in Texas. Uh, over the next few years.
Lucky Texas. <laughs> uh, yep. Well, <laughs> always a good place to build stuff. Uh, it's uh, it's got Texas that are, uh, taxes that are almost as good as Nevada and Florida. So yeah, everybody's right. pretty happy. What else are we gonna look at? It's an Amazon Christmas. Um, this oh, kind of yeah. interesting to see that they announced today that they're expanding its same day delivery and one day shipping service to thousand more markets uh, just in really? time for last holiday Christmas. Um, Prime members could get stuff uh, in 5,000 cities uh, in the last, eight, basically the same day if you wanted it. Now they're available in 8,000 cities today. So they've gone from the, the uh, really uh, handling the top 50 markets to really handling the, the top 100 markets uh, around the United States, which gives them about another 25% of the population of the United States that can get things from them in one day. That's amazing, man. I mean, it we is. know how they, they amazing become, they are, but that's like just over the top, man. It, it is. They're now the virtual monopoly that is out there. Uh, they also have uh, their Amazon Echo a device is going out to 28 more countries this week. Um, also, it's Amazon movie, uh, music streaming service. Um, everything kind of popping up roses for these guys, and not much in the way of people that can actually stand in their way other than maybe the government. They're getting a little flack from people in Europe. Um, and they actually passed a legislation this week that doesn't allow you to uh, geo-block people depending on what area the the, uh, uh, the Eurozone you're in. So before, they would charge different people different rates for you know, wherever they lived. Yeah. And basically, if it's not a movie or a TV or something like that uh, that is uh, got something special – uh, for being in the EU, uh, EU community, uh, that you can't charge different prices now for where you are in that EU. And my guess is that we're probably going to see that, too, go to movies and other things. So you can't charge more for, uh, like, DVDs that only play in DVD players for Europe, that kind of stuff. So the ability to charge more in certain areas of the world may be going away, at least in Europe. Well, that, but that's how the whole European Union is. That's what that's about. You, you, they, yeah, yeah. It's cross-border, and you have to charge the same amount. But stay right there, folks. Stay, okay, stay right yeah, there. Dave and I are coming right back, folks. Dow Industrial is up 163. NASDAQ is up uh, 81. S&P is up 24. We'll come right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. 
The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is up 161. You get the NASDAQ up 80. SPs are up uh, 24. Uh, let's go. Uh, we're taking. We're talking with our man, Mr. Dave White, and we, I believe, are going to be talking. About uh, L o LEDs? No. What? Oh, LEDs, Dave? Yeah, organic LEDs. Oh, cool. And okay. You, you said you were in Best Buy over the last week, saw a lot yes. of action. Um, if you go in there now, you can either buy a TV that's an LED TV that's fairly cheap, or you can buy these new OLEDs. And the big difference is that LED televisions uh, use a technology where uh, the light gets shown through it and it always has to be on behind it and okay. of course these new displays and the iphone 10 and the samsung or oleds it's a little different each little pixel makes its own light and color instead of kind of shining through uh a a color gel to actually make the color oleds are great in smartphones because they use a whole lot less power if if it's dark on the screen there, the light behind it isn't on. In I LEDs, see. the light is always on behind it. One of the problems with LEDs, though, is that means that you can't get it all the way dark, and there isn't a lot of contrast. So the OLEDs have infinite contrast, but since everybody's been using LED uh, televisions for a long time, and even before that, uh, tubes, they never really made the content compatible with the kind of contrast and color range that you now have on these new TVs. So Samsung is starting to stream it, uh, and Amazon as its partner will start streaming on Wednesday in this new technology called HDR10 Plus that actually does more color and uh, higher contrast. So if you bought one of these big uh, expensive televisions and you get new streaming stuff, you're going to start seeing the benefits of it. Right now, really? you only did, yeah, if you only, if you bought the right Blu-ray player and got the right Blu-ray disc, you would have gotten it all. Probably looked okay. better already. Okay. But it, it, it looks outstanding like what you see in the showroom floor up there at Best Buy. Right. So this is right. kind of a, a neat time if you're going to start buying these. Fairly interesting. The only downside is you don't want to watch uh, CNBC all day long with an OLED TV because it will burn in, kind of like TVs used to. If you remember, you'd always see kind of whatever it was on there all day long, like the Weather Channel was always burnt into the screen. They huh. will do that. So you don't want to uh, leave your TV on all day long to like the news station or the weather station if it, it's got like graphics that are always there they will burn that's in. wild man okay yeah th so that's, that's one of the is, it, is it the same i mean you know i always love plasmas you know i know if you leave a plasma on over a certain point of time the same thing can happen so that's right. basically the same principle right yeah yeah it's just yeah. the burn okay. in so one right. of the things apple wants to cure is the burn in for their phones their phones actually look and see if anything's like static for a fairly long time and it will turn everything off so it doesn't burn the screen in yeah but if you're watching tv you're probably 
you're probably interested in maybe the ticker or something else that's on there, it, maybe that's not the great use for a OLED TV. And of course, you're probably not spending two to four grand on one if you're just watching that. But um, yeah, you're finally so, getting. So, so let me ask you something. So we program. I remember we we went from you know programming in regular to HD. So right. is it would we have to go program in something else now in order for this to get even clearer? Yeah, you'd also have to get cameras that would actually uh, get up to this level. It's not oh, that's a easy deal. though. That's easy. Okay, cool. Right. Okay. Well, that's easy. No, this stuff is uh, horrendously expensive. Well, uh, everything uh, we saying, have is expensive. Everything's ten grand. So it's no, no, no. I'm talking about cameras that cost millions of dollars. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, this it's not. It's great for movies. Yeah. Doesn't mean much. Or at least this content for, I got it. Okay. for doing this stuff doesn't matter that much for stuff like what we do. It matters okay. for beautiful pictures. Uh, if you're watching Lawrence of Arabia and yeah. you watch it on, on National this, Geographic or something, right? Like an yeah, adventure. The yeah. Stuff that's okay. Dripping the stuff that's just dripping with color and yeah, beauty I got it. and everything I got else. It. Okay. That's cool. really where it's going to be. Two, if you're watching stuff like football. Yeah. It moves so much. One of the things, dirty little secrets, is if you're watching stuff that moves real quick, they just compress it more. So you're actually probably not getting a lot more on that either. So, okay. again, you're looking for stuff that's uh, like movies that's maybe not as much action as uh, scenery. Stuff yeah, that no, doesn't I get move, it. I get move it. That, yeah. that fast. So it is kind of interesting, but uh, at least there's there hadn't been a whole lot of reason for me to buy one yet. Now that there's starting to be this content and the movies are starting to be broadcast, it certainly makes me think that that's kind of what uh, I'd be looking at now. Nice. Cool. Google, Apple, Amazon. Yeah. App they Amazon been, said, go ahead. Uh, go, I was just going to say they've been in a, uh, in a steel cage grudge match for the last two years, and it's finally been settled. Yeah. Uh, Google wouldn't allow anybody to sell uh, Amazon's Fire Stick. Uh, Amazon wouldn't let Google sell their Chromecast device for streaming video on their stuff. And just in the last week, they finally all got together. So Google will sell the Fire TV and Amazon will sell the Fire TV from, of Apple's. So they're all saying, whatever you want to buy, that's fine. Just come on. But uh, uh, Google, you will be able to buy the uh, uh, Apple TV from Amazon and other Apple products, too that you haven't been able to buy from Amazon and Google. So they've all kind of gotten together and sang Kumbaya, at least yeah, on the video streaming side. You know, you can see, I can see why too, because you know, it's interesting with Disney buying, you know, the, the Fox assets, the bottom line is that the Google, Amazon and Apple are going full blown. Okay. We just want everyone streaming where with Disney, it's still that's going to be a closed system, so it's going to be really intriguing. Like they, you know, they're just buying content, so it's like okay, we buy content. But the bottom line is that it's it's a wild west, and I mean, if all these guys know they're all going to make money because everyone's going to stream on whatever they want to stream on, right? Right. And the the friend of my uh, uh, the friend of my enemy is or the enemy of my friend is my uh, friend. One of these yeah. things where right. they're frenemies. Right. The other way yeah. they they term it these days. But yeah, I think there's a little bit of that and people keeping uh, others out. Um, but then we're going to start seeing Amazon in probably April or May roll out their competition to YouTube. So I'm wondering, wondering if this lasts very long or if it lasts at all, uh, because all these guys are, it, this is much kind of like after the first initial run in the computer industry in the 80s, you got yeah. into the 90s, and everybody was suing everybody about patents. Everybody was getting into everybody else's business because they didn't really have a lot of new ideas. And we're kind of at that point now where everybody's looking at every other person, uh, company's business and trying to get into it to some extent. No, I, listen, and tech is as hot as it was then, too. Stay right yeah, there, folks. Exactly. Dave and I are coming right back. We have the Dow up 145, Nasdaq up 77, SP's up 21. Come right back, folks.
Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Don't forget. You can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Dow is uh, up 134. NASDAQ is up 74. S&Ps are up 20. Talk about our man, Mr. Dave White. We are talking uh, Apple, Google, Amazon, streaming devices, brave new world. We're all going to be streaming 24 hours a day, folks. <laughs> Maybe we'll Dang. move on just one. I wanted to ask you a question the last couple of minutes of the show here today. Yeah. Because we've known each other since the dot-com uh, bubble and some right. of the other ones. Uh, saw a lot of, in fact, when gold took off, you had lots of companies changing their name to gold right. uh, and other things. Now everybody's involved in Bitcoin in one way or the other, or saying they're you know, involved oh, yeah. in Bitcoin. Yesterday we saw uh, a brokerage that said that Miller they were going to get into it. Yeah, yeah, double in price. Um, now that you've been through, and maybe even one bubble before me, uh, what do you think how these things compare? Because even today we saw uh, NVIDIA and Intel bounce on news that they had it, something to do with in, uh, Bitcoin. Yeah, listen, I, let's just look at Muriel Siebert. That's, that's a perfect indication that, you know, it's a bubble extraordinaire because what you had uh, is that anything and everything that it just says anything about it, you know. So, Mario Siebert, the Siebert Financial folks, okay, went from a price point uh, two days ago of four dollars in here at thirteen twenty, and guess what? All they said is that they're going to have a deal with Overstock, and they're going to basically offer discount trading 
and cryptocurrency products. It's like, oh, wait, really? Yeah. So, you know, that in that aspect, I mean, that broker dealer, they, they take in, I think, uh, $9 million a year. Big deal, right? So at least they take in money. We've got plenty of calls this week, which I'm sure you heard. These Vancouver companies, they're, they're going to blow up. They're, you know, they were water companies. They name them cryptocurrency companies now. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of blow-ups. And there's you know what? There, there's nothing new in the markets. Yeah, totally, man. Cooking, brother. Thanks so much for the update, uh, Dave. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything you need is right inside you, folks. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. Have a blast with it. Let's go. Wow! Look at him, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionics, oil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.